Our next guest, David, who is a member of one of the film industry's most well-known families. I'll make him an offer he can't refuse. His great uncle, Francis Ford Coppola, is the man behind masterpieces like the Godfather trilogy. But don't ever take sides with anyone against the family again. And Apocalypse Now. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. His second cousin, Sophia, has made her mark on the film industry with the Oscar-winning film Lost in Translation. The more you know who you are and what you want, the less you let things upset you. And his father, Nicolas Cage, has been a Hollywood heavyweight for more than 30 years. I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence. Now, Western Cage Coppola is stepping out of his family's shadows in the new war epic, D-Day. However, we have a job to do. We need to secure the beaches for our troops and the Allied forces. Looks good too, and we're delighted to say that Weston joins us now in Hollywood. G'day mate, good to see you. It's an absolute pleasure, thank you so much for having me. Well first of all, congratulations on your uh, first uh, breakout role as a leading man here. So tell us about this new movie, D-Day, we just saw a clip of it. Thank you so very much. Uh, this movie focuses on a lesser known battle that occurred concurrently, uh, actually during the early morning of June 6, 1944. The D-Day invasions in Normandy, this was the Battle of Point du Hoc. Um, the operation was constructed by Eisenhower, uh, and it was so dangerous that I, I, I'm still learning about it. There's so much to know. Um, Eisenhower actually had an apology that was ready to be released to the public due to how abnormally dangerous this battle was and if it wasn't going to be successful. I got to play Lieutenant Colonel Rudder. Um, in this battle, essentially, this was an amphibious battle, so heading in from the ocean and into land and then scaling 100-foot cliffs with some of the most dangerous Nazi defensive de positions uh, located on top of these cliffs. And the intel was incorrect about where the cannons were that were going to cause a tremendous amount of destruction on Omaha Beach. So this was a very intense role, and uh, it was quite an excellent challenge as well. Wow. Weston, when did you first realize that you wanted to be an actor? From what my parents have told me, um, this came naturally. Uh, at the age of three, I began entertaining company. I began doing plays with friends. Uh, uh, I, I actually, it'd be like recalling my first steps for me. Uh, <laughs> acting was, was definitely an automatic thing. Um, I would often have um, video cameras and invite friends over in elementary school and we would start making films and parents would come pick them up and be like, why are my kids covered in stage blood? I'd be like, well, key word is it stage blood? It's not real. But <laughs> we had a lot of fun. And uh, from there I went to Stella Adler uh, when I was about 16 years old. and. Yeah, it's completely Kep natural. Kep mm. And I suppose, I mean, it must be hard not to be in the family business. I mean, you think about your dad, Nicholas Cage, who's one of the great actors on screen. The family that we just went through and the legacy of growing up in, in that family. Uh, was there any pr doubt that you were going to be anything that, other than that? I mean, you can't be a plumber if you're in the Cage family, can you? <laughs> well, you know, I believe that the, the best thing is to really come into contact with our individuality when you are... Uh, in, 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 any, in any situation, in, in any family, and to figure out how to carry on the torch and the legacy and to really act uh, and to create whatever it is that we are doing uh, in any occupation, you know, to, to truly be honest with your, your, your artistry and to, uh, to be innovative. And Weston, has, has your dad, Nicholas Cage, given you any advice when it comes to the acting business? He most definitely has given me advice. Uh, I've learned a lot from observation, um, self-discovery, and then also my father taught me about the importance of understanding that we are the instrument uh, when we are acting. And that brought me to a, another understanding about how we have to be a vessel uh, for the true storytelling that was created. Um, understanding our expressions, uh, understanding delivery, it's, it's all a part of, uh, all part of the experience. Mm -hmm. I imagine there's a lot of pressure on you though growing up it's as Hollywood royalty really. Uh, has it been a challenge for you as well to sort of overcome that in your career? Well I truly believe that challenges are meant to be conquered and pressure is meant to be inhaled but I, I think that it, it has caused a lot of pressure indeed you know especially because we all can create a, 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 an imaginary ceiling above our heads where mm -hmm. you know we have to penetrate through this one day and I, I feel that a lot of the pressure that I overcame brought me to to greater places uh, it even 
led me to um, opening myself up to receiving the divine intentions of the universe. I found true love. I met Hila, my wife, wow, and awesome. des destiny started. Yeah. I really believe that we have to accept it, you know. And Weston, finally you are heading off to South Africa to work on a new movie with Mickey Rourke. Wow. What can you tell us about that? I'm extremely excited about heading to South Africa and to working with Mickey Rourke. I think he's a wonderful human being and an excellent artist. Um, South Africa is a very, uh, it's a phenomenal place. And uh, this movie is going to have a lot of uh, high tech, intense action for those who are, who are awaiting such. Mm. Oh, you know we are. Yes. Look, uh, congratulations on the movie that's come out. We can't wait to see more of you. Weston, thanks for your time this morning. Thank you, Weston. Thank you for your time. It was a pleasure.